Preface of the World's Lumber Room. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ruth Golding. The World's Lumber Room A Gossip About Some of Its Contents by Selina Gay. I regarded myself as one of those vile things that nature designed should be thrown by into her lumber room, there to perish in obscurity, from the Vicar of Wakefield. Old decays but foster new creations, bones and ashes feed the golden corn. Charles Kingsley Preface the object of this volume is to give, in popular form, an account of some of the many ways in which refuse is made and disposed of, first and chiefly by nature, and secondly by man. The world's lumber-room, comprising the three great departments of earth, air, and water, is, in fact, coextensive with the world itself and so far from being the sort of place which the worthy vicar's son seems to have pictured to himself is rather a workshop or laboratory where nothing is left to perish in his sense of the word but the old becomes new and the vile and refuse instead of being thrown by in their vileness are taken in hand and turned to good account Considering the popular character of the volume, it was thought undesirable to cumber the pages with references, but the following are the works which have been chiefly consulted. Elements of Chemical and Physical Geology by Gustav Bischoff, Darwin's Journal of Researches, Coral Reefs and Vegetable Mould and Earthworms, J. D. Dana's Coral Reefs and Islands, Sir C. W. Thompson's Voyage of the Challenger, H. N. Mosley's Notes of a Naturalist on the Challenger, Maury's Physical Geography of the Sea, Professor Nordenskjöld's Voyages, Huxley's Physiography of the Thames Valley, Belt's Naturalist in Nicaragua, Bates's Naturalist on the Amazons, A. R. Wallace's Australasia, Professor Tyndall's Fragments of Science, S. W. Johnson's How Plants Grow and How Plants Feed, Miss E. F. Staveley's British Insects, J. O. Westwood's Modern Classification of Insects, Wilson's American Ornithology, Lord Dunraven's Great Divide, Brach Vogel's Mammoth Springs, P. L. Simmons' Waste Products, and various articles in Science for All, Journal of Science, American Journal of Science, Quarterly Journal of the Geological Society, and Gartenlaube, etc., etc. End of the preface.